Assalamu alaikum and hello brothers and sisters. Today I'm making Kashmiri chai, also known as pink tea. This chai is considered a delicacy and can be very time consuming and difficult to make. I've actually had several trials and errors making this tea and it took me a long time to get it right. To be honest, there are so many wrong recipes for this chai, so I thought I'd make it the traditional way. The hardest part of making this chai is getting the right color, but hopefully this tutorial will help you. You will need tap water, because I find the color comes out better using tap water instead of filtered water. And you will need Kashmiri green tea. You can also use a normal green tea if you want the taste, but you probably won't obtain the right color. These tea leaves are low acidic, basically meaning it will be easier to get your chai pink instead of brown. You will also need baking soda, salt, milk, and the secret ingredient I use is ice. Also note the correct pink color won't be obtained if you're cooking in any other pan besides a steel pan, and also only use steel utensils. Making this chai is kind of a chemistry experiment, and very tedious, so please carefully follow each step if you plan on obtaining a beautiful pink color. Also, I'm not adding any cinnamon, star anise, or cardamoms because I don't want it to potentially affect the color. Please keep in mind things like cinnamon can make your chai brown. You can also add sugar to this chai, but the traditional Kashmiri way of drinking it is to leave it salty. I won't be adding any food coloring of any sort. Now let's get started. The first step is to pre-cook and boil our milk for our Kashmiri chai. Once it's done, we're going to put it aside. I have a coffee filter and I'm going to put one heaping tablespoon of Kashmiri green tea leaves in and I'm going to wrap this up and tie it with a string very tightly so we won't have to strain it later. I have two cups of water boiling in a completely stainless steel pan and when this water boils we're going to add in our little tea bag. The water is now boiling and I'm going to add in my tea bag. Along with the tea bag, I'm adding 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda and 1 pinch of salt. We're going to allow this to simmer for 30 to 45 minutes and we're going to check this every few minutes to make sure the water hasn't all evaporated. After exactly 10 minutes, this is what our tea looks like, and it looks fabulous because you can see all around the pan that the foam is turning red, and this is a sign that your chai will be pink and not brown. So always make sure that the bubbles and foam look red or pink. If you notice that the water is evaporating too quickly, please add very hot or warm tap water. Don't add cold yet because it's not the step yet to add cold. Our chai is now red and now it's time to add in our ice and I'm actually just going to put in a bunch of ice and mix it. I'm going to take out our tea bag and mix it vigorously for about five minutes. Our Kashmiri tea is almost done and it's very maroon and now we're going to add in our milk and we're going to add as much as we can to get the desired color.
Our Kashmiri chai is all done and I'm going to garnish with some almonds which are sliced. and some pistachios. And it's all done. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.